Chelsea and Ivy, right? Yep. Your dad is John? Yes. I've been yes, watching sir. him race for decades. Does he still race, by the way? Yes. He's not racing tonight. He's actually helping a crew guy race 600s. 600s. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So is this your regular track, Attica Raceway Park? You're here every Friday? Yep. We're here every Friday, and then we go to Fremont on Saturdays. I got Saturday's you. our home track. Yep. Which track is more challenging, Fremont or Attica? Depends on the night. Yeah. Yeah. And the um, track surface? Yeah, the track surface, and Fremont's a little tighter, so it's a little harder sometimes to hit the setup at Fremont. Attica's a little bigger, the, the corners are sweepy. Um, we've actually been doing really well. We got fifth here last weekend, so. So far, Attica's been our, our track. You mentioned the setup. You know right away when your setup is off? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the worst part when you roll on the track. You typically know whether we did, did well or we missed it, and there's nothing you can really do at that point. The 410. You can't adjust that out? We can't, like when we're on the track. Well, not when you're on the track. Right. But, but I mean, like, you know, so like the end of the night for the feature, you roll out and you're like, oh man, I have oh, 25 laps. I gotcha. Yeah, but like in the 410, you had the wing, you could move that back a little bit, and that does help. But unfortunately, unfortunately in the 305s, we don't have wing sliders. So pretty much what you get is what you got. <laughs> have you ever won an A main at Fremont and or Attica? I have not. I've led more oh. than half and I got a flat tire here, and then I led halfway at Fremont, and we just, we got passed at the end, ended up third. Paul won that night, and my dad got second. So to me, that was a win. That's a big win. That was a big win, I yeah. mean, finished behind Paul Weaver and your dad. Yeah. That's that's pretty, I'll call that a victory every time. Yeah, that was that, awesome. Is it is it challenging racing with the guys? I mean, the stereotypical, you're, <laughs> you're, you're a, a lonely wolf and a, big man's world you know not really just because um, they know my dad and they've seen me around the track I feel like at first I would make they probably didn't race me as um, they did everybody else but the more that I earned respect the, the cleaner they raced me and and I, I appreciate that I'm glad they don't take it easy on me um, but like I said I've known all these guys but it's really cool when they come up to you and tell you good job <laughs> yeah I mean do you feel like you're at a place where you have that respect from the guys I do yeah, yeah. I think I think I earned it more so in the 410s uh, yeah. that's definitely definitely trying at times but now that we're back in the 305s it's more fun yeah so, so the 410s make way more horsepower do you have to make mental adjustments to go from a 305 to a 410 yeah everything happens a lot faster um, you have to be like on your A game as far as reacting, picking your line and sticking to it. 305s, you have a little bit more time to react and, and think about things. I don't know if that's a good thing all the time, but for me, I, I just have more fun in the 305s. You get nervous before the A main. Uh, not so much anymore. No, you're past all that, huh? Yeah, like the very opening night here at Attica, I was a little nervous. Uh, we got a new car put together. I wasn't sure how it was gonna go, but when we, cracked off a top 10 and then a top five. I was like, all right, I'm ready. Like You're, now I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. gotcha. Does your dad, John, uh, put, any, put any pressure on you to perform or? Nope, all no. he does is tell me to have fun and, and he'll come down, bounce some ideas off of us and say, you know, I think you could have done this. Um, what do you think about, what do you think you did wrong here? He's a great teacher. Uh, I definitely have one of the best teachers and role models when it comes to racing. So, so when John speaks, your dad you listen i listen yep. yeah anybody else could come up and talk to me and say some things it kind of depend depending on who it is goes in one ear and out the other but when my dad talks i, I listen to everything he has to say that's very cool yeah i appreciate your time tonight wishing you all the best thank you thank you so much Casey Zebold, Attica Raceway Park. Uh, tell me about your season so far. Oh, it's starting out a little rough, but uh -oh. it's the beginning of the year, so yeah. you know, I'm coming off being sick and stuff from last season. So what, what kind of sick were you? I have also I got diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. Um, it's something with my digestive system where in my colon where I cannot digest and get nutrients properly for my so, stomach. So so how do you fight that? Uh I'm medicine and a diet. <laughs> yeah, how are you feeling tonight? Good, pretty good. You look good. Yep. <laughs> a lot better than I have been. Oh, so so you're feeling good enough to go the full season, and the yeah. full season for you is what Attica and Fremont. Yes. So that's about 
50 races. Wow. How is it uh, trying to compete in a male-dominated world? I mean, is that challenging at times? It's normal for me. I huh. mean, I've been racing since I was three. Really? Yeah. Like quarter midgets and go-karts? Oh, I started go-karts when I was three, and then when I was 16, I moved up to sprint cars. Wow. That's amazing. What's been your best finish at Attica or Fremont? Uh, here I got third and at Fremont fifth. Wow, that's excellent. That, that is so cool. Do you get nervous when you race? No. You do not? It actually releases all your stress, honestly. Uh, isn't that interesting? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's turning it around. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of get in that chair in the seat and you forget about, you know, your illness or whatever worries you have in life and oh, just yeah. put the hammer down and go. Huh? That's what we mostly do. That's what half of us come out here and do. Just yeah, get, get away from away. it all. Yep. Yeah, there's a plenty to worry about in this world today, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my lordy. Did you just graduate? Yes, I did from college. From college. Wow. Yes. What college? Tara. Tara. Nice. What kind of degree did you come out I got with? a robotic engineering degree. Oh my, you're kidding me. Robotic engineering? Yeah. That is awesome. Program. That yep. is so cool. I'll bet you'll find a job too. Uh, I actually have one lined up when I turn 19. Go to Geoport, one of our sponsors, and work up there in Huron. Huron, Ohio? Yep. Really? Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Congratulations on your Thank graduation. You. Thank you. You bet. How old are you? I'm 18. 18? Wow. You're awesome. Thanks for your time. I Thank appreciate you. you. No problem. say that uh, you know you can tell right away if it's on or off where you at I think we're good we're close um, I think we can make a little adjustment to make it better though what, what adjustment are we talking about um, some weight in the car the way the way the car is getting over right now it's getting over really hard on the right rear yeah and it's, that's not horrible but it, it could be better if it doesn't stay there so I got you so yeah just a little, the balance of the car really that's the only complaint but I think we're pretty good How much stagger do you guys run here? Uh, 12 to 13 inches to start. All right, young lady, just one question. So you had a chance to hot lap the car. Can you tell right away if you're on or off where you at? We're decent. We got a lot of work to go still. Yeah, you're not you're not quite right then. No. No. What what can you do to make it better? Uh, we're gonna change the setup probably. In what way? Uh, we're probably gonna tighten it a little bit. Okay. All right. Thanks. Yep. Running with the 410s tonight, that has to be yep. an amazing challenge to run against the world's greatest sprint car drivers. How do you see it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I've been doing this for a little while now, so I've been racing with them here and there throughout the years, but uh, it's definitely tougher than a local show, and uh, it's pretty fun. I like yeah. racing with them. They're pretty fun to run with. So you're in a male-dominated sport. 
do you have to work that much harder to gain the respect? Not that you should, but do you? Um, I mean, I guess as a girl, you gotta just prove that you can drive a race car, and I feel like the guys, most of the guys respect me, or seem to um, respect me, but um, yeah, it just takes time, and just gotta prove yourself out there. Have you ever transferred to a World of Outlaw A main event? Yeah. You have? Wow. Yeah, I got That's uh, really hard to do. I got 11th at the King's Royal one year. Are you so. serious? Yeah. You're kidding me. No. You finished 11th in the King's Royal. Yeah. That is amazing. That's a victory right there. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, my Definitely God. Definitely the highlight of my career. Oh, my God. That is so cool. Yeah. I, I am I am so impressed. It's, I know there's, uh, what, 40, 410s here tonight or more? Huh? Yeah, 41. Oh my God, that figures. So uh, a victory tonight would be getting in the A main, right? Yeah. yeah. We start fifth, so uh, it'll be hard to pass. So just yeah. hopefully get a good start and get in yeah. the A main. What What do you do back home in Tiffin? Do you work during the week? Or? Um, the car owner, he uh, hauls like snowmobiles and um, has a snowmobile business. So I just help out with that. Okay. And then race when you can. Are you uh, regularly at Fremont and Attica? Is that your deal? Uh, we just try and run wherever. Like in the beginning of the year, we'll just stay around here because I'm from around here. And then in uh, June, we'll stay out with Outlaws out in uh, the Midwest and hit Knoxville and Busets and uh, Cedar Lake and all those tracks out there. And then we'll come back for the Kings Royal and uh, then head back out for Nationals. So. Do any of the top dog world of Outlaw drivers help you? with advice or encouragement? Do you seek any that help? I mean, if if I go ask, they'll definitely help me out with whatever I need, so. Okay, so they're pretty helpful. Yeah, they're yeah, nice. Yeah, okay. Very How nice. long you been doing this? Uh, I started racing go-karts when I was seven. Wow. And then I moved into a micro at 10, and then into a full-size sprinter at 14. Yeah, okay. Nine, 27. Gotcha. Are you beyond the point where you get really nervous before you climb in? I mean, you always get nervous, but definitely not like the first time. Yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah. 11th at the King's Royal. That, yeah. That is so yeah. cool. Thanks yeah. for your time. I appreciate you. Thank you.
did it the hard way tonight. You came through the B main, but you made the A main. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Uh, we've had better nights. Yeah. Um, but Is the take, car off? We're off. We tried something different. We've been qualifying about third, fourth quick in our heat races, which puts us on the front row, which is nice. So when we qualify, we, we're right there. So we've been trying things to get first and second quick, you know. Sure. And tonight it just wasn't, it wasn't a good change. So I told him to go back to what we've been running. It's just, we don't have drive and there's nothing you can do to make up for drive. Yeah. I mean, if it's tight, I can, you know, I can do some things in the seat to make it free, but when the car's free and skating across the track, I mean, there's nothing you can do. So hopefully we'll make some good changes and charge up from the back. You're just not getting the power down. Yeah, we're just, every time I hit the gas, it spins the tires. So the track got pretty sandy tonight too. It did, too. yeah, it got super slick, which we've been okay on the slick, but typically for our heat races, the track still has moisture. Um, tonight's a little different. I don't know if it's because it's so windy and it's so warm out. So it, it kind of went away a lot more than I would say it normally does. Yeah. So hopefully tonight we'll make some adjustments here and go forward. In the yeah, you uh, you tried some things like you need to do and now you decided you gotta go back to where you were. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yep. that's okay. We, that's how you learn though. That's how you get better. Absolutely. You gotta make yeah. mistakes to get better and unfortunately, Got it. tonight was one of those yeah. learning moments. Well, well <laughs> congratulations for at least making the A main. There's Thank a lot you. of sprint cars here. I, uh, and congratulations on your career here. It takes a lot of courage to what you to do what you do, and I really admire you. Thank you. I really I do. It. So cool. Thank you so much for letting me tag along. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Yeah, man. Good luck. Thank okay. You. You did it the hard way tonight. You came through the B main, but you made the A main. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are you at with the car? I'm happy with it. Yeah, yeah, you're good? Yep. Yep, where will you start the A main, you uh, know? I do not know. They're going to check right now. Yeah, you feeling good tonight? Yep. Okay. Uh, so what did you find out in the B main that can help you in the A? Oh, uh, the track's just going away. Yeah, it's getting really dry, slick, sandy, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck in the A main. Thank Thanks you. for helping uh, let me tag along. I really uh, uh, admire you for what you do. Thank you. Check this out. On the way back, coming through Bellevue, Ohio. Look at the American flags lit up all the way through the main drag here in Bellevue. Isn't that cool? I love that. Sorry for the dirty windshield, but you know, that's dirt track racing for you. But isn't that cool? American on both sides the American flags are lit up spectacularly all the way through town. I think that's awesome. Very cool.